What's going on guys, Psycho Fanboy back with another figure unboxing and today is a very special one because I have for you none other than Hatsune Miku, the uh, DX version and I got this figure from the Good Smile Company booth at Anime Central here in Illinois uh, last April, last, no last May Yep, for roughly 160 and no tax included, 160 flat. And uh, for those of you who are uh, active in the uh, anime figure world, uh, most of you would know that this figure is ridiculously uh, overpriced, uh, going as high as uh, $500 for an open, unopened one and $300 for an opened one so I was really lucky to be able to uh, grab this at the Good Smile booth for $160 $160 that's less than half of what this is, what this is going for uh, in the uh, aftermarket so uh, without further ado uh, I will open her and let's get to it all right. Uh, first off, I we will talk about the base itself. This is the base, as you can see. It's a very, very detailed, large base. This is the peg that she will be standing on, and we have these three giant megaphones on the bottom of the base, which the regular version does not have. Right there. So that is the base. It's pretty big. I would say uh, around 10 inch, 10 inches maybe, maybe a little more, a little less. Just a, that's just a rough estimate. So there you go. Pretty huge base. And this is another part of the base. It goes on the bottom as well you can see right there and uh, these things these five little holes will attach to no not five more than five because uh, this is the overall uh, base that the figure will be standing on but uh, this is the front part as I mentioned and the holes that you saw earlier are for these holes right here right there and this is the front part right there okay so these are the two parts of her base right there pretty huge up next we will talk about her uh, signature ponytails now these are very fragile so uh, you have one or planning on buying one just uh, remember to be careful when handling it especially these uh, uh, single parts right here they're really fragile and stiff pretty long as well as you can see and this is her left no right ponytail there you go And then her left ponytail is slightly longer. You can see right there. Two ponytails that go under her head, obviously. And then she comes with a small megaphone that you will be attaching to her hand right here. There you go. Pretty nice. And next, we will talk about Miku herself. Alright, there we go. As you can see, the f her facial expression is just simply awesome. 
it really captures her character in the music video. Oh yeah, I forgot, the this is the Love is War edition, which is where this is where this figure is based off of. Going out of focus again. There you go. Her skirt is really complicated in terms of the, uh, the sculpt. As you can see, the folds are very nicely done. Her stockings are glossy, which is a very nice touch. And the skin tone is perfectly uh, executed, perfectly painted. Very, very nice. And I don't know <laughs> what that's all about. Nah, uh, that's pretty etchy if you ask me. So yeah, there you go. I mean, usually Miko is not portrayed, portrayed like that, but uh, no complaints here, man. So yeah, pretty awesome. Okay, this is the uh, bottom packaging of the uh, blister pack. And first thing we'll talk about is she comes with these railings that go on the uh, front of the base. As you can see right here. Right there. Two short ones like this. No, this is the shortest one. And then this is a medium sized railing over here. And then this is the longest part which goes in the middle. Right there. And then this is the uh, base of the tower which goes on the base as well. So you can see very very nicely done the uh, good smile did a fine job uh, painting the overall uh, metallic look of the uh, the tower as you can see pretty huge bottom as well there you go and ultimately this is the uh, tower that goes on that bottom base that I mentioned earlier and comes with four mini megaphones as well and the tower is about I want to say uh, seven inches eight inches long so it's pretty long yep so if you're thinking of displaying her maybe in a, a shelf or something be sure that the shelf you're getting has a a uh, tall vertical like enough space so that the entire tower will fit in in it because uh, I previously opened this figure before and I, I was not able to uh, fit the whole tower in the uh, glass display case because it was just simply too long yeah, that's what she said. Yeah, there you go. And then for the highlight of this figure, two humongous megaphones that she comes with. Very nicely done. See how big that is? Damn. One on the right side and one on the left side. So yeah, and it's got some weight to it too. So imagine two of these going on the base, plus the overall weight of the base itself. I mean, this figure is gonna weigh at least, I wanna say, I don't know. This is just a rough estimate, a rough guess. Like maybe three pounds, no, maybe five pounds, yeah at the heaviest so yeah and then lastly she comes with this wire for her megaphone that you can wrap around the figure 
the overall figure to uh, imitate the uh, the uh, the one in the music video, I believe. Oh wait, I don't even know if she has the wiring was, was a part of that video. But yeah, this is just a nice addition to the overall accessory of the figure. And uh, let me put her together, and I'll get back with you guys. All right, there she is, all put together, and uh, wow, just simply, it's such a gorgeous figure. I mean, this is probably the best and the most beautiful figure that I own. Like, if you saw the uh, the uh, highlight video that I uploaded before this, if it's if it hasn't been taken down yet because of the song, and uh, I'm pretty sure that showed that. No matter what angle you look at at it, it's just like simply like stunning, you know, like left side, you know, right side, bottom, top, just simply amazing. So uh do I have any nitpicks about this figure? Uh yes I do. I mean she looks good but not every figure is perfect, you know? And uh because what I really had a hard time with are the uh, ponytails. Those two ponytails over there, like, you really have to force it in there and to the point where <laughs> you think her head will snap off if you, like, try to put it in too hard. But uh, that's the way you have to do it, or else the ponytails won't uh, stick in there enough to the point where it might fall off when you move it. In some cases, that happened where I tried to put in the one side and then the other side fell off because I put the other side too hard and yeah it was a pain in the butt but other than that uh, pretty nice yep now to compare the regular version does not come with the these three small headphones on the bottom of the base and does not come with the giant speakers on the left and right side and I believe it doesn't come with the wire itself too and I think it's missing the two uh, left and side bases I think it only comes with the front I think so that's pretty much it uh, that's the only difference between the two versions and the regular version goes for like 150 unopened and this one goes for 500 it's, it's ridiculous but yeah that's the comparison um I don't know what else to say I mean every angle like my god uh, I tried putting her in the glass case and she, she won't fit because the height is just simply too tall, you know? I mean, her left ponytail is as high as the tower itself. And it's just ridiculous. So uh, I guess this is the uh, wrap up of the uh, video. And there will be no showcase because I already showed that in the highlight. And you can just check that out if you want to. And uh, as always, uh, I'd appreciate it if you gave me a like. Please uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And uh, and always, please subscribe. And this is Psycho Fanboy. And I'll see you guys in the next unboxing. And thank you very much for watching.